I'm Dithnis Amosha BLD. Hey, it was a terrible experience. For somebody to be in the husband house for 11 years with no issue, hmm. you know there is going to be much approach, uh, reproach from people. It was a very difficult journey. Mm. Some people said that my daughter was a mommy water girl. Some said that she was not ready to give birth to any child in this world. And some people even tell her, you better cooperate so that you can be delivered from the mommy water spirit. Whereas, she was given to me by God. She is really from the throne of God. I got her through a revelation which I can never forget. One day I had a revelation. I was taken to a mountain. On top of that mountain, there was a tree on top of it. Under that tree, there was iron under it. On getting to the mountain, I was given the iron. I went to one of my pastors to reveal the revelation. He asked if ever I have been to a town called Iwara, very close to Iwo. I said I've never heard of Iwara. I knew of Iwara, but not Iwara. He said I should follow his church members to the place. We went together. On getting there, I saw the tree that I saw in the revelation. And the spirit and the prophet said, Mommy, you have been given a child today. I went home happily. On getting home, I decided again to go and pray. A sister in law took me to a place called Idua Jinari. On getting there, I met a prophet there, an old man. He said, You and your husband, you love one another. But he's not your husband. And if you don't leave the place, you will not have any child. I told the prophet, No, that the Bible said that none of his own children will be barren. And I went out. It was on the December 29th. I look up into the heaven. Between one and two, and I prayed to God. I said, Lord, if truly I'm serving a living God, I want God to give me a child. And that, I asked for three major things that day. Two for my husband and that child. I got home. I went to then my Baba was still alive. I went there to pray. And we are told that those of us that we are there, that God has given us children. I got home on the second. I met my husband on the third. And that was how I became pregnant. I got Shei through faith in Christ and not for many spiritual man. You know, you may, you know may, they may not you know, at least they may have children. She's not the only child. I have, I have other children. So they may not know. But I don't believe it is. Because she, I will go through the Bible. I know that some people are barren because God made them barren. Rachel was barren because God made her barren. 
Sarah did not do anything bad and she was barren. Rebecca was there, she was barren for some time. But later they were given children. So at times, God can have purposeful healing for someone. What was the joy that filled your soul the day she told you she was pregnant? I was coming, I was told she was in the hospital. And I was telling God, the Lord, before I let you back down, I want to hear the good news that she has put you. No pregnancy, ma'am. Oh, why she became pregnant? Oh, God. I was in the room, the message just came. In fact, before then, I sent her a message that met the news that people will hear that they be, they be shouting for joy will soon happen to you. I didn't know she was already pregnant. So I went to pray and when I came back, it was then I saw the message. I said, I read it. I ran from my, the room to where my husband was. And I told my husband, have you opened your phone? Your phone? Read it. I started weeping and I ran from one room to another. I then started praising God. Really, when she had those problems and she told me, Mommy, can I ever have a child? I said, What happened? She said, This is what the doctor said. I said, It was the doctor speaking and not God that you are going to have your own child. I was in a car coming to Bible and I'm getting to you. Maybe you would be very close to it. They called me that she has given birth. I said, hey, what did you say? They said she has given birth. And I said, I just started crying. The people in the bus, they were asking what was wrong. I said, I've given birth to a child. There was a woman very close to me. She said, Ah, I cry, I my mother is so. I was a woman, I was a woman, I was a woman for the past 11 years. That she don't misuse herself before getting married. That she is the one that has still put her to me. I was so scared, praising the Lord. I am very, very happy. And I have nothing to say that. Oh, do I? Oh, be Oh, do I? Oh, be Oh, I want back with I want me Well, it is only God that gives children. They should wait on the Lord. I will share a testimony. There was a day I was traveling from the boat to the back of Many years ago, I met some people in the car. There was an old woman there. It was done in a world of us time. They were asking her, Mama, Mama, we will be thirty. Are you forty? They said they will talk for a world of us. You know they are talking about politics. The next thing she said was that, Hmm, some people are in this car now. They are looking up to go for children. It's just a matter of taking certain leaves and certain leaves and you become pregnant. But when they are pregnant, 
they must come to them. That if they fail to come to them, it's just like planting a tree and you remove the soil. What happens when you remove the soil? The, the, the blood will be coming out. And that the baby will now come out if they fail to come. That is the child that the world will give to you. So it is advisable to wait for God. All those that waited on for, I mean on God in the Bible, they were given glorious children. So I believe if they wait, God will give them children that will live and not die at the middle of their life. And so parents too, because I know that there are some parents, once the child they refuse to have children, they can say, you better leave that man and go and marry another one. The Bible says God is against thy God. So they should leave the children. Instead of them to ask their children to leave their husband, they should continue to pray and rely Ah, my name is uh, Engineer Edward Isola. By the grace of God, I'm the father of the child. My experience has been sweet, but it is sweeter today. It is sweeter today. I'm, I'm much more glad and happy. And I do thank you. Well, that is normal, you know. <laughs> I think that is normal. Uh, I have my down time and my off time. And, uh, I'm, but I'm happy most of the time because the joy of the Lord is my children. Ah, yes. So many stories about that. Maybe one day my wife can write something. So many, so many stories, you know. <laughs> That's all of our story. We write some things about it one day. So many alternatives. I can share a little bit. Uh, so many alternatives. There is a case that uh, while in a prayer program, the pastor, the pastor was uh, was advising us to do some wrong prayers that we just decided to walk out of the church. Hey! Well, I was so happy. I was so happy. When she told me, when we confirmed that the, the doctor's report, I was so happy. I was so glad and anything. So, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Ah, the day of delivery was. <laughs> the day of, my experience on the day of delivery was sweet after she delivered. But before, the, uh, the night before was a, a night of fear and a sleepless night. Because she, uh, the baby decided to, came to come in the, in the night. In the, in the night. So nobody was able to. Unfortunately, I wasn't around too. So we are not able to sleep where I was. Praying and uh, agitating. So that's, that's what it was then. <laughs> I was agitated sleeplessly on my bed and praying. Ah. My advice is just, you know, believe in God. Because nothing God cannot do. At this exact time, God will answer every prayer that we do. God is a listening Father and He's going to answer our prayers at the time. He knows He's going to bring glory unto Him. I am so, so, so happy. I'm so, so, I thank God that I can, I can become Baba, somebody Baba, Baba Ogo today, Baba Glory. I'm so grateful, Baba Precious. Now, the people can call me with the name of my own child, and I can pour. Let me give you one experience. Maybe 
maybe this can. There's one I like playing with children a lot. And while I was playing with children in the church one day, the, a, a child asked me, Daddy, where is your own children? You know? <laughs> it, it was painful. That is the only thing I can't put to anybody. So that's one of the experiences. Thank, thank, thank you so much. I'm, I'm grateful. Thank you for My name is Uwake Uwe 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 You called 11 years like that. <laughs> I don't know how possible that is. You know, to summarize the, the experience of 11 years within a minute or even an hour. Ah, no. Oh, oh, even the whole day, I don't even know how to start it. Ah, it, it, it let me say it's wonderful. Wonderful in quotes. <laughs> it's actually wonderful. I had wonderful experiences. Though some were actually terrible, some were bad, especially you know, this part of the court, I mean, of the country. People believe that if you are married like this, within nine months, you must have your own baby. So they expect you, you should have your own baby within nine months. And you know, first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, like forever. So many things happen, so many insults, so many, you know, heartbreaking words, so many, so many discouraging things. But the, the most important thing I, you know, I enjoyed throughout the period is the grace of God and the word of God. The word of God is so sure. And each time I had these terrible feelings like giving up, the word of God will come. And it will comfort me again. So God used the period to build me, to strengthen me, you know, to, 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 to have more strength to me so that I'll be able to stand more. I really gained a lot. I, I really learned so many things. So. I don't know, that's what I can say, but describing each, <laughs> each experience like that, it may take years. Because I don't know, I don't know where to start from. I don't know the one I will concentrate on. But today, anyway, we've been, to we've been told not to count our, our thank God we are not counting lots of So and I'm not going to count the insults, but I'm going to count the blessings of God and appreciate him for what he has done. Hallelujah. Yes, drama ministry counseling, counseling. You know, <laughs> when <laughs> when you are actually going through something, some problem, it's funny, you know. And God said you should be encouraging people, you should be counseling people, praying for people who are in the same situation. But you know, it's funny because when you are counseling people, you are encouraging them to trust God. That God is good. There is nothing He cannot do. It's always on time, this and that. And the delay in your own life is so obvious. It should be like, where is the proof in your own life? Are you sure God has actually called you? But God strengthened me, helped me, you know, to just obey Him, to continue in that life. And then um, God helped me to continue like that, to encourage people who are waiting on God, to let them know that God is good then. God gave me another means. That one, in fact, it says, maybe I will still talk about it later. Maybe later in the day, time still permits. And that is pray with men's fellowship. You know, we organize women together, we pray together, and then we, especially waiting mothers, people who are discouraged and all that, not only those people, you know, just to encourage women to stand firm that whatever thing they are going through, God is, God is uh, with them. So we have that then. I'm a teacher of his word, but if I just say, I think the word of God. Ah, uh, yes, several. <laughs> In fact, one of the last, one of the last, uh, one of the last movies, one of the last movies I featured is before God answered my prayer. It was evil related. So it happens a lot. It happens a lot. God has failed you. God has failed me. God no longer has the prayer. And God took just 
about to read a letter from you, the pastor she has left you. No at your feet, Jesus. I lay my burden. Where are you now? It's too heavy for me to bear. I bear it all. Carefully at your feet, I lay no. my burden, Lord. Comfort yes. my sorrow. Yes. Answer yes. my prayer. Yes, God help me because anytime I have the opportunity to, you know, to play a role in a movie, I forget about myself. So I enter into the character, I become that person. So even if I have the chance to play the role of a wasting mother in a movie, it's not a year again. So I enter into the character of that um, particular cast, like as in like that. Not, I don't remember myself again. I said maybe it happened once or twice. It happened once that I can really remember. I don't know. When I was to play a role of a woman who, 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 who waited for long before he had a child and the child died. I mean, the child misbehaved, was sentenced to jail and all that. And as a mother, I needed to cry at the court, you know, that she's not going to see the child again. The day, the day was not coming. <laughs> you understand? So, and I was trying, as much as I entered the character to remember that, okay, ah, I, I forgot the name of that song in that, um, that movie. That, okay, I, I have waited so long to have the child, and at the end of the day, she's not going to be with the child again. I tried to cry, the tears were not coming. And I said, okay, maybe I will need to add another method for the first time. Okay, let me bring in Sheyi into the character. Okay, Sheyi, you have waited this long. And God forbid bad things, this thing happened to you. I just remember, I, 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 conscious, I started bringing those, some of the most terrible insults of my life I've gotten. I started bringing them to my memory. Then I started this cry. Ah, I cried like. <laughs> the old friends, the old cast and crew, they were just like, and people that were watching, ah, tears people go in yeah. Some people were already crying for me because that tears then. <laughs> well, I thank God. So God has always been helping me. I don't really feel bad when I'm giving such so I just feel normal. Ah! You can no more cry. Hey! Things are working for me. Ah! Things are working for me. Hey, for the Lord is on the throne. Things are working for me. Things are working for me. Ah, things are working for me. Hey, this is good. God bless that man for me. Number one, he, he didn't allow me to see myself as the only one. You know, in this ship, we were actually together. He was with me throughout. He was ready to defend me. To protect me, to guide me, to encourage me. Not for once has he ever made me feel bad for not having a child. Not for once did he give me reason, you know, to sit down and weep and cry or feel bad that okay, we are not having a child. I want to do. He was there to help to encourage me. Of course, so many advice. Of course, our people now, so many advice. I should get another wife, this and that, and all that. But he was between us. We played together, we fought together, we, we, we worked together, we laughed together, you know. And God gave us the victory at the end of the day. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. It, it, you are busy. Yeah, I'm just trying to prepare for that ministration next week. Any problem? Um, no, not really. I I just want to discuss some things with you, but I don't want to disturb you. Oh, no, 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 darling. Sit down. Sit down, dear. Listen to me. Thank you. Honey, you are the most important person in my life, okay? So I will always have time for you. <laughs> so, 
to thank you. Sincerely, I want to appreciate you for who you are. You're such a godly, mature, loving, and understanding man. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> I was not even to. I knew myself. I told the doctor. What a break, man. <laughs> not vice versa. Because, you know, God gave me some specific instructions during the period to do. Just, we're planning for the Fame Women Fellowship official inauguration. And then, we were actually planning to do IVF. We did one still. Let me say we did one and a half. We used to call it one and a half. But we did to terminate the process, you know, to start all over again. That's why I called it out. So, so we're planning to try another one. And my uncle, one of my uncles actually sent the money to us. I said, okay, can you are trying to get the gift for the Aqua? The whole pain again. And we're planning for Brain Women Fellowship inauguration. Wanted to, shoot, to do a short movie. I was writing a book which I wanted to publish then to do the magazine, Brain Women magazine, Quarterly magazine, and all that. And then um, I needed huge amount of, I need hundreds of thousands. I was praying for divine provision for that. And then um, my uncle just sent the money. I said, I used the money for five years again. I was like, praise God. God, you are the one who provided the money for IVF. Please provide money for the program and trust me. And the Lord said, the money is meant for the program. I was like, hey, oh my shit, so I took my own. And of course, we agreed that too. Based on that word, God said. So, but he said, but my sin cannot carry this over. But because he said, God said, <laughs> you can go ahead at your own risk. You understand? And I spent all the money. Oh, hundreds of thousands. I don't want to mention the, uh, the amount, all the money on the program. And I was, I, I went to the hospital before the program, and they took me to come back. They gave me a day. The date happened to, you know, to be after the program. I was like, ah, we need to know. <laughs> so when they were doing the program, I was like, God, I've spent all the money. I, I, I don't keep this such amount of money somewhere. You understand? I don't know the miracle that will happen. Is it that the money just come back miraculously? Or you just do this thing for me in a miraculous way? So the program finished on Saturday. Sunday, I became very tired. I was like, okay, Shayi, you have stressed yourself a lot to be to it. Monday, Tuesday, stress will recover. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Ah. I, I was like, okay. Maybe the period, you know, at times a few weeks when I'm, when I'm expecting my monthly period. I was like, okay, maybe that's what is coming. The period is supposed to come on Friday. You know? Saturday, no period. Too. Sunday, no period. I was like, ah, oh, I'm pregnant. I'm just too sure the Lord has done this. Because they told me to come back at the hospital the following week with the money that I've spent. You will I call my uncle that I, I used the money to do God's work? What? <laughs> And God, you just need to do the miracle. I didn't know God actually used it to test my faith. I didn't know that was the last test of faith. I just imagine if I failed. Even if I've done the IVF, it would have failed it. But I remember a brother told me when I was confused, I would mention his name, Brother I said, Brother Gu, multiple why dear to say program. And he said, the uncle told you to give the money to the doctor. And you give the money to the greatest So you have not done anything wrong, I said, well. Wow. And he's actually the greatest physician. He treated me perfectly. He corrected all errors in my body. And he gave me this beautiful job to carry in my hand. So I said, ah, I'm pregnant. My husband was just looking at me like, okay. I'll go to the office to tell them I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm not going there for this in December. And I'm getting there, the doctor was shocked. Because even all the last report after the idea. We had last year. How the report said the case is becoming more complicated and complicated. So he was confused. God.
okay, let me be very brief. It was a full experience because number one, I was not expecting the baby when when she came. Even as we are talking, he did this too fast. He did this not this month at all. You understand? So I went to the hospital on Monday for my normal checkup, and I was told that okay, uh, we need to change your clinic day to Monday. We'll be coming every week. Oh, I was there, and the doctor was telling me, Madam. This baby is a precious baby. We won't allow you to go through natural delivery that I will do here. No big deal here, but why? If I have the strength, said no, that they don't want to take any chance. That the baby is good, I'm good too. But during normal delivery process, anything can happen. That they don't want to take any chance at all. That we should go and start preparing and all that, you need come for tears, the morning. And... I just walked back home. Slug is your dad. I go say no while well, I called my husband and told him. So getting home, I prepare good food for myself. I had I had some malans vegetables. I slept, I woke up, I washed my clothes, cleaned up the house. I was alone at home. That was on Monday. And later, you know, I wanted to sleep and I was like, okay, let me go and urinate before <laughs> before I was sleeping. That was <laughs> you So, you know, I went to the toilet and I, the water refused to stop. Okay. Then I became confused that this water is even more than normal you Like half of what <laughs> is already filled up. I called my sister, my younger, I waited, I didn't call anybody immediately. You know, my phone, I got good this size, what would have happened? I was like, okay, you need call membrane rupture. This is like, wow. Could this be okay? I called my younger sister. Child, oh, this is what I flow. Could this be this? I said, ah, I changed. Am I lost or six weeks? Because I'm not shame, nothing is wrong with me. That I'm not shame. That was the language she used. I can't At least this one, I just ignored. But later, that word kept ringing in my head. And I was alone at home. So, really, to it was already some minutes to 10 pm. It's a command of the Lord. She told go. I said, You know, Mr. Bo. I called a neighbor who is a nurse. And she said the same thing. Emma Parker ring. As in, like that? Is, is it actually real? Do I really want to give back like that? Today, will I actually experience it? You know, when you're not even sure of what, what is happening to you, okay? When they discovered that I could be very stubborn, my sister called and said she's on, his, on her way with her husband. I checked the time, considering where she's coming from, I was like, you don't be stubborn, just operate with everybody. The other woman I called was on duty, was on night duty. She called her husband. I've not even called my husband <laughs> in the process. She called the other one to come and pick me. I was forced to call my husband. I shot him with that girl, she's dead. Let me pack. <laughs> I've not even packed the baby thing. Thank God I bought some previous week because I was not expecting that then. And truly, by the time we got to the hospital, we compared to this shame. Really. <laughs> and of course, trust me, I will do some drama with the doctor. <laughs> so I was, I, I actually experienced the real level. I was, I, I was getting to the peak. When the doctor came, that no, that is not ready to, to take the risk. He said, that we should have the CS. So I eventually delivered the baby through CS, but not because there was complication or something. They just wanted to play safe. And now I'm still and healthy. My, my advice for the waiting mothers are very simple. I mean, the advice is so simple that they should do what they should wait on God. They should just trust God. God is faithful. And what is the meaning of that? That means whatever thing he says, he will surely do. He committed to his Lord. He will never fail us. So they should wait on God because God is faithful. He will never disappoint them. Ah, God forbid. God will not allow that. I'm trusting God for more grace, more of His grace, more of His strength, so that He will help me and see me too. In fact, I was telling my husband, I said, thank God that I experienced this before the ministry started fully.
if I've maybe if I if I've given birth before the ministry started, maybe there'll be no ministry. Honestly, I tell you, there will be no ministry. So God is perfect, as in he's a master planner. So with the experience of that nine months and this one, if the ministry has not started before the waiting period, there may be no ministry. But now I know and I'm committed to the pray God to help me. Thank you. 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 Thank you.